call to order uh, the January 22nd meeting of the Montpelier Planning Commission. Um, the agenda says we're gonna review Zoom procedures. Do we need to do that, Mike, or is that just to recycle? We're, we're good, we don't have anyone here, so everybody's got all of their rights and privileges. Okay. Uh, in that case, we're gonna move on to approve the agenda, so I need a motion to approve the agenda. In a second. Second. Um, I didn't hear the uh, the first. <clears throat> who was who was the first? Oh, I don't know. I thought I thought you were calling for a second. I will move that we approve the agenda, Kurt. Okay. Yeah. Sorry, that's my fault. I said I, I need a motion, then I need a second. Okay. So we have a we yes. have a motion to approve by Gabe. Do we have a second? I will second. Okay. Second from Maria. Those in favor of approving the agenda, say aye. 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 Any opposed? Okay. Remember last week when we were talking about procedure? See how procedure sucks? Uh but moving on, um, comments from the chair. I don't have a lot right now, except to just to remind everyone um, about the February 14 and February 28 uh, um, city council meetings where our zoning will be up. Our next meeting will be February 12, so we will have another meeting before that starts. Um, but just keep that on everyone's radar and to reach out to people, um, especially for the February 28th, where there'll be a vote. Um, uh, yeah, reach out to your networks to have a showing of people who care about these issues. Uh, does anybody else have anything? We have a light agenda tonight. So if anyone else was wondering about something or wanted to discuss something, we can do that now during comments. Um, and if we have, we'll, we'll have time after. So if, if any, if something occurs to anyone later. Kirby, I was just, um, I know we talked about it earlier today at the playground, but I was just curious if Mike had any uh, comments about the housing bill that's kind of working its way through the legislature right now. Uh, I don't have any details on the, the Home Act 2. I heard there was a Home Act 2, but I haven't gotten into taking a detailed look at what's in it. Um, it's got supposedly has some repairs in it. Um, I did see there was a similar to what we're talking about, allowing up to four units. Um, they may, there also may be a requirement that sewer and water allow <coughs> smaller lots. So we may have to look at that in the future but it depends what gets passed and what goes through. I've always kind of opposed those a little bit. I am not a big fan of the all the requirements coming down like that, mm -hmm. um, but we can, we'll can we see what, what comes through on those. I've mostly been paying attention to the budget adjustment acts because those have uh, money for people who have homes that were substantially damaged. So we're trying to see if we can get money so we can help elevate, lift up the houses um, right. for people to get them fixed and to have some other um, buyouts or other other monies available to them. We've got about 10 properties we're trying to work with. And so I, that's, uh, I testified on that bill uh, a week, week and a half ago. Um, so we're kind of hoping we hear about that one soon. But the other ones I haven't followed too much. They tend to change so much right at the start. Uh, we'll have a better sense after, usually after town meeting day, after those have been kicked around for a while, 
um, and people have had an opportunity to put stuff in, take stuff out. Okay. Um, That's a good question. Does anybody have anything else on their minds, planning related? Okay, then uh, we'll move along. And the next thing on the agenda is general business for any comments from the public about something not on the agenda. We do not have members of the public in the meeting right now. So we will bypass that and move on to the next item, which is to review and approve changes to community services story board prepared by Aaron. Um, we don't have Aaron here. Uh, I was not noticing edits on the Google Drive page. Did he send those and I miss it? Did no, I didn't know? get anything from him. I was just trying to open up the document to see if there were any changes on it, but if you've already looked it up, no, there's just comments from you, Mike, but there's no markup um, on the page. Do you see any of my edits at all in it? I'm just curious. Not on the community services draft that's in the folder for the storyboard. Okay, that it, it, that was probably the shinier one. So let me let me ask you, Mike, did you see any of my edits on your um uh, draft for google i'm just trying to see whether or not it it translates so some of the things you had were i believe it was i changed them from staff to personnel and i just want to know it, it, just in the language um yeah i don't see anything in the community services draft but even your uh, for your Google uh, your Google Docs, uh, there's there's nothing for um, anything that you've put on the Google Docs. Uh, you don't see any of my edits uh, for what you were drafting. No. Okay, so I'll, I'll, let me. I'll, I'll go back to it. Um, not now, um, but I'll go back to it. I'll see um, whether or not I can a uh, screen capture or whether or not it actually uh, stuck. And see whether or not they're um, because am I am I under the um, misunderstanding that I'm not able to edit or am I able to edit? Uh, to you sh you should be able to. We we generally try to to use uh, track changes. Right. Yeah. Definitely. Um, but you should be able to make changes to the document. You have permissions. Okay. I mean, we got two hours, or if it's short, either way, I'll I'll look into it and I'll see um, what possibly has occurred. Thanks, y'all. Uh, well, so in the spirit of trying to get this through, what do people feel about something like this? Um, everyone, review it right now. I'm not sure it's a good idea for all of us to be making edits at the same time, but um. I'll go through and I'll make whatever edits I see. I just skimmed it and I actually, it's not very long and there's not a lot. Um, so I can take the first round of edits and everyone else just review it. And um, let's just do it in real time real quick right now. Does that sound good? Seems like the most efficient thing to do.
Right, quick question. Um, this the cemetery commission and department is is that its like regular name or is there a cemetery commission and a cemetery department or is it just one entity? Cemetery commission and the cemetery department are two two different things. Okay. In child care, should we mention the uh, the preschool offered by Union Elementary School? Uh, yeah, you certainly can add something in if there's something I'm missing. I'm just wondering if it was noteworthy enough, if we, or if there was a reason it was excluded. Um, I'd like to ask a question regarding the um, community service chapter draft. Mm -hmm. uh, when it when it mentions the um, parks and located in Hubbard Park, the Montpelier Parks and Trees Department stewards the natural spaces of Montpelier um, and the natural beautif uh, beautifying. What what is that set to um, state totally in action? It's it's page one on mm -hmm. yeah. No, I'm trying to just I'm trying to track what your question was. Okay, so there's a lot of trees in the in the uh, river that have fallen into the river. So uh, is this, are these the cleanups along the river? Is it um, possibly uh, dangers of Montpelier properties and homeowner properties that uh, trees that may um, need to be taken down? What, what, what's the responsibility in that statement? Uh, so the trees, the, the, 
the parks department and the trees. I don't know what they call the trees department, but we have a tree board and most of their work is to care for any of the city's trees. So that are, are those are trees that exist within the road right of ways and trees within the parks. So they will go down and take down dangerous trees. Um, and a lot of their work over the past couple of years has been the removal of the ash trees that are the damaged by the emerald ash borer. Um, but probably a tree that's fallen in the river probably would not be something the tree department would go and take care of. Okay. Thank you. Um, it, let, let me ask you this too. I, I remember uh, it's amazing, you know, some of the things we, we had to do also during the pandemic and then uh, prior to that, but I had to go take a course uh, while trucking about how to uh, extinguish lantern, lantern flies uh, and the larva that would build up in the water collected in the rims of your truck as you did your 10 hour reset. Uh, so I'm, I'm wondering is, is, you mentioned the uh, species that are uh, doing things like that. Is there is there an anticipated budget for, um, you know, uh, evasive species and things like that? And and what do you, do you know where I could find the percentage of how that's budgeted? I don't uh, know that. I do know they have. I think the the budget for the tree is mostly tied into paying we ha we have an arborist there is a city arborist who is paid um and he's either full time or almost full time and he works to to take care of the trees i uh the conservation commission does look out um for other invasive species probably you know the two that they do the most with are the emerald ash borer and the um oh down there near the wetlands and the rivers the japanese knotweed um you see them see the japanese knotweed look kind of looks like this bamboo reed like um thing that it's an invasive plant that grows up near usually near waterways um and they're very very difficult to get rid of so i know they track those. I don't know if they're tracking any of the other ones. Most of the other species are probably tracked at the state level um, and not as much at the local level. But So there's um, no anticipated budget. Uh, uh, that's all I'm asking. I'm just seeing whether or not there's an incremental budget for uh, that. But that's you. That's cool. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. I think the budget would probably be in the trees budget if you if if you emailed. Uh, um, Alec Ellsworth, he's the parks director. He would have the breakdown of what the trees budget is. And I think probably the Emerald, Emerald Ash Borer budget, there isn't such a thing, but it's mostly the fact that we increased in like 2019, we added, it used to be a part-time position. I think it became a full-time position for the, the arborist because there were so many ash trees in the city that needed to be taken down that he would work full time to take down as many trees as he can. And when you said you said Alex Ellsworth, is that E L S W O R uh H T H? Uh two L's. Two L's. Okay, thank you. Yep. Okie dokie. Um let's run through the chapter. Um and feel free to uh, point something out if I if I skip something or if you have another thing to point out here. Uh, so in the first paragraph, um, it looks like okay. In the first paragraph uh, just changed a few words. Um, the changes there are related to I didn't want to look I didn't want to use phrasing that looked like we were acting better than other towns or anything. Um, so I change that a bit um there's some highlights here are those mike's highlights or is that someone else subject services and full service oh, city. Mine. 
Okay. So did you have some stuff on that, Maria? Yeah, it was just the community services are a unique subject. <laughs> so I was thinking maybe a better phrasing would be the community services chapter is unique, is a unique subject among plan chapters, just so that the verb and subject agree. Good point. Do you want to make those changes? Oh, I can just see that. Yeah, okay. you should be able to if it's under suggesting. And then I didn't and... know. I'm sorry. No, go ahead. Um, like a full service city is like a term of art. I don't really know what a full, what that means. I had the same we... thought. Yeah, I mean, we use that a lot. People have. We, we certainly use that expression a lot, and I've heard it a lot over the past 10 years, whether it's a term of art or whether it's known enough to be able to use in the plan, um, that's up to you. Um, a lot of times people ask, you know, why do we have higher taxes um, and those types of questions? And really it comes down to, you know, some communities may have a parks department, some may have recreation some may have a senior center, some may have a fire department, some may have police, but very few cities have all of them. And Montpelier is one of those communities that has all of this. If there, if there is one out there, we've got it. We've got a community justice center. We've got a senior center. A lot of places like Barry city may have, uh, you know, a community justice center and a, um, senior center, but they're both nonprofits that are operating outside of the city government. We've put them in our city government. Um, places may or may not have a recreation department. Um, we offer, ch we have offered child care or summer, summer day care or summer, um, some of the summer programs that we have. Um, not, not many uh, cities or towns have that. So we usually say we're, Full service, not, you know, as Bill would point out, not not because we've, um, you know, a, a lot of communities have a lot of services, um, but very few of them have all the services. And we just happen to be one that has just about every service. So Uh, is the planning commission interested in changing the wording of that sentence to spell that out, or are we okay with just using the term full service city? If I recall, that's not the first time that term is used in the plan. I think we've, we've, there's, there's been other instances where I don't think we changed the term. It's a bit obtuse for the newbie, but if you guys are okay with it, I am too. I mean, at this point there's, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of just getting onto the train. Any other thoughts? We can change it. Won't be a big deal to re to rephrase that. I mean, does it, it does it offer, I, I guess what I'm coming, trying to, trying to come up to speed to, it doesn't matter. It's just about whether people understand or can figure out based on the context here, what it means. Okay, so uh, and is it is it up for um, argument? Yeah, we can change it. No, um, no, this... no. I'm, I'm not asking that. I'm asking from the uh, from our stakeholder standpoint. Uh, has it uh, from prior experiences? Has it been a sticking point in wording? Not that I'm aware of. Mike, do you? Has anybody? No, not that I. Okay. I mean, a lot of our plan hasn't gone through a pub full public process. This, most of these chapters are still new and haven't made their way to a full public process. So, so is this is so this is something that is we're not revamping something that's already been out there. We, we're this is from the ground up. And I'm, 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 like I said, I, I was telling you earlier, Mike, on the call that I called you earlier. I'm, I'm coming up to speed on some things that are patterned. Uh, and I recognize patterns. And so this one here, um, it's kind of fleshing out. Uh, so is this is this a a draft that is unseen ever uh, within Montpelier's uh, stake, uh, our stakeholders? 
this particular one w- has not been reviewed by another group. The implementation plan was reviewed that and we reviewed that a few meetings back. So there's a parks implementation, there's an implementation strategy with aspirations, goals and strategies for parks, recreation, senior center, cemetery, homelessness, conflict assistance and child care. And all of those were reviewed by um, the respective committees. The community services chapter was not. I wrote this out based on what I learned in those other meetings. So, and uh, I'll mention it now because you weren't here when I've mentioned it in the past. All these, anytime I've written these chapters, um, I, I have I have no pride when it comes to these. Um, there are a lot of people who are better at the creative writing side of things. And so I always support anyone who wants to go in and make amendments to make things more readable um, and just convey ideas better. So, yes, I put this together as a draft and we can go through and make edits. Yeah, I'm surprised my uh, my edits didn't stick, but I'm I'm uh, I've, I've already I've read read things. Um, I'm I, I need to keep some lights low. Uh, at this point. Um, so I'm not really um, able to kind of view everything in real time with everyone again. But I, like I said, the last meeting, I, I did read everything. Um, I, 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 but there, I just, I need to, um, I, I didn't realize, thank you for clarifying that um, this is something that's going to be kind of going out. Um, I, I just, I, I guess I'm also trying to understand, is there, this is go, this is for public consumption. Correct. Uh, it will be. What happens next with the storyboard is it will is that I will send this to SE Group, who are our consultants, and they will take this exact text and they will put it into the storyboard, and then they'll add the pictures and they'll add the other pieces, um, and build out a storyboard with the, all the attached photos and maps. Okay. Then that will end up being the piece that goes to the public. Is the is the por- say so? Is the portion say say the public acts um, or uh, reacts uh, to wording um, in an adverse way? Hypothetically, um, is there room for editing uh, to um, you know kind of or is this set in stone as far as uh, what we're what we're putting out there? No, there's once there is this is going to be the first draft that goes out. The public is going to give comments and all throughout the planning commission process, there's room to edit and make changes. And so that's this there's plenty of time for things to be changed. And, you know, if people, you know, once we get to the public, we'll start to know how close we came to hitting things on the mark. And I think I mentioned in other meetings, maybe before you were here that, you know, we're going to have 11 or 12 chapters and we may find that, you know, eight or nine of those chapters really kind of go through. Nobody really has a lot of comments on, but there's always something somewhere. Um, And so then we'll end up with three or four chapters that we'll have a lot more conversations on and get a lot more in depth on whether that's housing or land use or economic development. Um, but we'll, we will end up having bigger conversations and hopefully, like I said, it's only one or two or three chapters and not nine or 10 chapters because that'll make the public hearing process go long, but public hearing process takes as long as it takes. And if we miss the mark, then we're going to have to make a lot of edits to kind of make things comfortable. Um, or, we get a lot of negative comments and you guys decide you're going to vote at the city council anyway. So uh, it's, it's your, technically it's your choice. Then when it gets to city council, they can change it all over again. So there's plenty of places to change it until city council votes yes to adopt it. Okay. So I, thank you for that. I just wanted to understand, um, you know, I, I do understand the, the process of editing. I wanted to see how um, necessary the process of editing is at this, it seems to me to be a very um, early 
um, stage uh, uh, within a lot of hands of touching it. Uh, so even what we do may not even get to the final. Uh, so I, I, I just need to understand the, the flow. Thanks. Uh, yeah, good questions. Good questions, Carlton. Um, Maria, I just try to accept your version of the final sentence of this paragraph, and it just disappeared when I hit the check mark. I don't know. <laughs> okay. Um, I just I'd added to, at the end of by providing an array of community or a, a full array of community services. Okay. To give so, all residents. Yeah, I think it's good. The opportunity to thrive and grow. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, um, not hopefully we don't get too bogged down. So this last sentence is now instead of referring to the full service city, just to be clear to people who are unacquainted with it, uh, we've changed it so that it says. While all communities provide services, the city government of Montpelier attempts to provide the needs of all residents by providing, uh-oh. Oh, oh wait, that's not what I see. Wait a minute. Attempts to address, sorry. Yeah, yeah, that was just my brain and not what was on the page. Uh, <laughs> city government of Montpelier attempts to address the needs of all residents by providing a full array of community services to give all residents the opportunity to thrive and grow. We said all residents twice in a row there. Um, we can change the, the last one to them, maybe. Is that good with everyone? Is that is that clearer than before? I like it, Kirby. That's good. Anybody else have anything before we move on? Um the next thing is an under planning context under the first, well, it's, yeah, I guess it's a paragraph. Uh, yeah, it is. Um, it looks like maybe Maria had highlighted overlap and to anticipate what she was getting at there. There's a great deal. Of, I, I just now added, there's a great deal of overlap between some departments. Was that, is that the, the thing you were thinking of Maria or something else? Oh, well, I assume that the overlap is with, not well between departments, but also between like the roles and mission of those departments. Um, do you see? I think I have a comment there. So it was understood that there's a great deal of overlap in their mission and responsibilities, you know, to try to specify exactly what is overlapping. Okay. And then I was also wondering what which of them have been combined into the community services department because it seems that parks recreation and the cemetery are their own departments but are they also cemetery they, like, is still cemetery is still separate but parks recreation and senior center have all been combined so there there are departments within departments like the parks yeah, department is inside the community have... services department yeah, they haven't quite gotten to the point of changing titles. I think they will soon okay. to kind of maybe make them divisions or something to that effect. Uh, the the issue, not that it matters so much here, but it was it, we used to have a lot of separate departments, and each one was a department head. Right. And everybody had been here for a very long time. So it became very difficult to combine the departments into one, but they did. So they combined everybody into a community services department. And they now try to have a community service department head. But when they tried to do it at the start, it became awkward that suddenly one person would become the boss over somebody who had originally and for the past 20 years been a department head. So they kind of kept calling them the parks department, the rec department and the senior center, all okay. separate departments. And 
now there's a new senior center person who is, uh, I believe she's a coordinator, so she's not a department head. Uh, recreation, I think he, uh, Arnie, is the department head of the community services department now. And the parks department is still called the parks department, um, but he technically is under the community services umbrella. Um, were, were these all um, positions that were changed? And I don't want to get into the weeds either. I, I just want to understand, were these all positions that were recently changed based off of the budget cuts of each one? Uh, this goes back to like 2016. So it was under a different mayoral administration who kind of had the same idea. They were a little bit more interested in streamlining. And um, so they wanted those combined um, just as a, as a way to try to, you know, um, remove some, you know, so that way we don't have as many department heads um, and kind of have um, fewer, fewer, um, fewer at that level of the, administrative umbrella i guess no i understand top heavy as far as money is concerned um but yeah. what, I'm, what i'm trying to uh, uh understand is in order to make that change based off of what you stated as legacy and what sounds like legacy salaries um did did people leave new people get in place at a reduced rate um saving the taxpayers money and if that happened was that uh, you know, because the senior center center is um, you know experiencing some budget cuts, uh, and have in other departments because we need to consolidate. Um, but I just wanted to understand whether or not that was uh, when when did the you said 2016? So at, at one point, uh, was the budget considered um, based off of the legacy salaries? Yeah, I haven't looked at what the salary what the, what the salaries were of of my other um, employees of uh, their, you know, fellow department heads. So I don't know when Jeff Byer left and Alec Ellsworth was hired for parks. I don't know where Al Alec's salary is. Arnie is still at recreation. He's been at recreation. He's the one who's now the director. Uh, Senior center has gone through a number of different directors. Um, so I don't know where the newest salary is compared to the previous ones. Um, I think it was more a matter of just trying to, um, once there was, there was a lot of, you know, kind of actually as Maria points out, there's a lot, you know, there's some mission overlap and there's some responsibility overlap. And I think that was true. And, um, uh, it makes a lot of sense if you have one department that you can operate more seamlessly between them. I I would I guess the best example I could give is for like scheduling. If you wanted to participate in uh, um, a recreation program, um, uh, well, I try to think of something in the something at the the rec fields during the summer. You want to go swimming. You want to get a a pass to go to the swimming pool or you want to register for classes at the senior center. Well, we used to have two different people, one person who was taking care of the recreation depart or the recreation stuff and one person who was taking care of the senior center stuff because they were their own departments. So senior center had somebody who would sell tickets right. for their okay. stuff and recreation for theirs. So now we have one, if you want to do something in community services, we have one person who can help you get whatever, Right. Uh, Mike, let me, let me, let me ask you a question. Uh, just one other question. Who's responsible for auditing that? And if it's something that has, uh, was something that was always, or not always, I should say, um, long withstanding, um, before restructured, um, who, who, uh, why was it then important to look at it after so long and who's responsible for auditing that is my question. And can things be, um, looked at in, a, in the audit for automation uh, to save more money um, where it can be because that's yeah, I think they I think they are I'm not intimately familiar with theirs that would be a good question for Kelly Murphy she's the assistant city manager and Kelly is the person who works with um, kind of Arnie's boss so you can either work with Arnie or work with 
uh, or, or, or ask Kelly, either one of them has a pretty good grasp of um, a lot of things. And they, they are now doing more computer connection between them and, and more automated signups for different things. So there's, there's a lot more of that, but I don't know all the details. That would be a, a question that you'd have to go directly to them for. And, okay. you know, how effective has it been? Um, that would be, you know, another question that would really go to the, go to their department about how well they feel this, this has, um, this merger of department, merged department works. Okay. And again, I'm not, I'm not looking at the document exactly. So I'm not sure when you mentioned Arnie, what's Arnie's uh, last name? Uh, McMullen. All right. Thank you. All righty. Um, good. I'm glad that you're just adding the stuff in there, Maria, because I was losing track a little bit. So okay. I was trying to find your comments. I just wanted um, to make it clear which departments were part of the new community services department. Because I, when I read that, I got confused. But I figured... Yeah, I, I um, believe it's great. To the specify. Just Justice Center technically did not get merged into those, but okay. Parks, Recreation, and Senior Center were. Okay. Cemetery was left separate because they're kind of an odd formation. The Cemetery Commission is actually outside of city government. Kind of weird. Mm -hmm. They get elected separately and have their own, and they hire their own staff but their staff kind of work under the city's umbrella. So they get city benefits. So it's kind of a weird thing. That's why we, we wanted to merge them in, but we couldn't um, at least not at this time. And then the community justice center, the CJC is um, they've kind of always operated separately and independently. They are fully grant funded through the state. And so they, they they don't fit as well in with the parks recreation and senior center from the standpoint of having similar similar missions that overlap they they really don't overlap that much with with those three i think that makes sense um is everyone content with the state of that paragraph i, think I like so. it yeah You said you think so, Carlson? Yeah, I, 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 it, everything is so fascinating to me because I was just reading about in the history of Montpelier, the cemetery and the cemetery um, between Ms. Kelly, uh, Kellogg and um, her passing and then um, Hubbard Park. Um, it's it's always it, it, the the in, how that became uh, came about was, has been interesting. So I, I'm curious to go down a rabbit hole as far as why there's a um anomaly within the in, in in how how can there be a privatized and public um entity within like the benefits but yet outside of the state uh, i want to see how that works but it's all interesting i'm just commenting um yeah so for the so for the uh sub sections below about parks recreation etc um, I just, all, the only changes I really had there was to remove finally from some of the sentences, um, just because there's not, not a lot of content there. I didn't think we needed to do that. Um, and then the specification about the cemetery commission and cemetery department. And then there's the, the thing at the bottom about union. Um, Maria, did you have some, you had some things within there, I think that, that. Yeah, I thought just. Um, let me go back. They, you know, the previous paragraphs about the recreation department, and parks department specifies what kinds of things that they do in the senior center too. And so I thought it made sense for childcare. That last sentence is kind of odd, but just saying that they do provide after school care and summer camps, you know, just to give to flesh that paragraph out a little bit more. Um, yeah, go ahead. I, I saw your comment, but it's not included right now. Okay. Um, Mike, were there any other uh, types of childcare activities provided besides 
after school and summer. That the recreation department does? Yeah. Uh, the city through the recreation department yeah. additional service such as after school and summer camps. Um, at this time, yes. And we'll see where it goes. Um, so they did get licensed. The recreation department did get a, a license to operate a child care facility. Mm. And so one thing they had wanted to do, and especially once we've got, once we purchased the country club road site, um, we had the opportunity to try to add um, infant care. So that wouldn't be necessarily just an after school, but it would be um, having an, an, a, a child care program that would be, you know, throughout the day that would be staffed to just provide additional, you know, additional um, space for infant care because that's one that is in desperate need. So they wanted to be able to try to provide that. I don't think it's worked out for some reason that would be one for Arnie but it was certainly one that was identified when we talked about economic development um, and when we've talked about services when we when we talked about the implementation strategy for child care we talked about the city's interest in providing infant care um, because it is needed and because we are actually licensed and we actually do have a building that would be okay for doing it um, but I think in our current financial situation, I don't think we'll be moving that idea forward until after, at least till for another year. But it's an idea that's been on, that has been discussed and they've moved, moved along the road on that. I, again, Arnie would have most of the information on that if people needed details of what's going on but what we are doing we are doing after school and we are doing the summer camps okay that sounds good um side, side note here i'm sitting next to this window that was not updated because of historic preservation reasons and i'm freezing and i'm just and that's planning related We've heard a, we've heard some testimony from historic preservation experts that the Windows thing's not a problem. Nice. In in my current life right now, it's a problem. <laughs> that is awesome, Kirby. That was a good tie-in, man. That was really that was sweet. I'm I am I'm freezing, and I wish. What this about was some three M? Can you do some three M? <laughs> Um, you should feel good to know that we you you were you were part of the process of changing the zoning that means that window can now be upgraded. So I guess there's a lag because they're it, here. I, I, yeah, maybe maybe when the landlord did the updates here it was before we made that change. Um so moving on, synergies. Uh I just had a few little things that um were just little edits. Um, at the bottom, instead of concentrating on wanting tourists to spend money here, I thought we'd hide that a little bit and say contribute to the community. Yeah, um, definitely good. But uh, that's all I had. Maria, did you have something you wanted to insert there? Um, well, I, I think I just had like two questions. One is whether there's going to be internal linking within the document so that like when we, the mm -hmm. facilities and utilities chapters mentioned like can there will there be like a hyperlink to that chapter is that kind of linking going to happen it's, it's certainly possible we'll have to look when they start to roll them out um i'm sure it's something that's not difficult to do yeah no um and then my other question and i think we talked about this before is whether we're capitalizing the different chapters or whether there are lower case <laughs> yeah we'll have to make <laughs> sure we're consistent, consistent. Yeah, because yeah, there are a lot. Paragraph. There are a lot of those that we'll have to go through once we're all done to make sure that everything is written in the same tenor and tense. And yeah, um, you know, do we talk about our city or do we talk about the city? Um, yeah. 
you know, uh, and, and there's a lot of those types of ones. We'll just have to make sure we make a decision on at some point um, how personalized we make it. Yep. Mike, Mike, can I can I ask you a question? Is as far as the when you say you know we're going back and forth with the consultants and and they're going to uh, look at this, are we? Have they been paid, or they get? Do they get paid by the hour? Um, like, what's the breakdown as far as budget, and when are we satisfied? Um, at and what what's the what's the stop at as far as cost? Um, with going back and forth and then creating actions. Uh, we, um. We have a contract with them. We did an, uh, an RFP a request for proposal, and they were the only one that applied, I believe, for this contract. And uh, no, actually, we had two. We had two people apply. We chose SE Group, and um, so they send us invoices every month, every other month for the for the time they work on it. But it's a contract for a fixed amount of money. And we have an update to the contract, which was approved this year to help finish up the rest of the plan. So they've, um, I think we've paid them $20,000 so far. Um, and we've got another $10,000 grant for them. So I think that's the amount of money we've, we have with them right now. So if this were to, if we were to go, uh, go past that budget, do is there a vote to, you know, extend the budget, so to speak, or is there at one point where, you know, do we say, okay, we we need to present this at this point to the to the well, point. we're hoping this new contract is supposed to because this is the last other than we have one chapter left. We've done ten of the eleven chapters that we had scheduled to do. The only chapter we have left to do now is land use. So all the other chapters, this is the last piece of the last chapter is community services. They've been starting, they've been building these things out. They have a bunch of stuff built out. They just haven't, we haven't gotten to get them all published and put up there. But um, when we get more pieces, um, we'll go through. And, you know, my hope is, you know, I've been saying this for a while. It's just trying to get to a point where we can roll out some of them. I'm hoping to at least get, you know, maybe six, if we can roll out six chapters and start to get public comment. I don't want to overwhelm the public. I don't want to put 11 chapters out there and have people say too much, too much, too much. So if we can either break it into thirds where we go out and do a round of public hearings on four of the chapters or six of the chapters, break it in half. Um, so they're going to help. They're not doing the public outreach part, but they're kind of our technical pieces behind the scenes. So when we say, we don't like that picture, change that picture. We don't like that uh, uh, That wording, use this wording instead, and they'll go through and make all those edits for us. Um, but most of the work, um, we've done a majority of the heavy lifting, whether it's, my, whether it's me or you guys going through and reviewing them, we've done most of the the hard work of actually writing the text they're they're kind of putting together and they're kind of the graphic designers and making it look pretty and that's what we leave to them and then see what they come up with and we can go through and say no we don't like that um but at this point we have the format we can't change that we have our template it is that's the template was decided by the planning commission previously that's why we talk about synergies and uh what was it here? Uh, introduction, planning, context, synergies, implementation summary, and who's so, involved. So, Those were all decided by the planning commission, and now they'll they'll build it out and make it look nice. I I, I get on. I get that. I I want to again try to. I, I got to use these opportunities as, as I can. Um, the and so there's so it, we're pretty much paying them, and as long as we try to figure it out, they're still getting paid. Yes. So if we wrap this up relatively quick and and there weren't very many changes, they'll probably end up getting less in their contract. Um, and if it 
goes past the grant deadline because the you know there's the grant deadline I think goes into 2025. So I would hope it does not go past the grant deadline. If it goes past the grant deadline, then we may have to just pay them or get another grant. We may, um, depending if we still have edits to make. I've also had some consultants who said the amount of time it's taking right now, you know, because you're not making major changes every time you need to make a little change, I'll make the little change. Don't worry about it. So um, we will cross that bridge when we get to it, but hopefully this should be the last, the last grant and the last process. So we can start going through and, and having that public process. Okay. Thank you. All right. So uh, I, I went and looked at some of our other chapters and we have been consistently from what I saw um, capitalizing the name and the word chapter. And in some, and in some cases we use the word plan interchangeably with chapter um, and we've capitalized that also. So we should be capitalizing these. That's been our convention, it seems. So if you see any other things, and I went ahead and changed some just now, but if you see any other things that need to be capitalized, let me know or, or change it. Did you have anything else, Maria? Did you have anything else, Maria? No. Okay. Oh, did you? You shook your head before. I just didn't see it. No. Um, Okie dokes. Uh, I did notice, Mike, that down below in there was some capitalization and consistency with the implementation summary, but I didn't touch that because that's the aspirations and stuff. And like, I'm not, so just, just going to note that, that there might be some needs in, in the aspirations and goals and things to watch for capitalization. But like I said, I didn't want to, I didn't want to mess with those because those are things we voted on and are set. Although I think, I don't know, making a capitalization change, I don't think would have any legal ramifications, but uh, didn't anyway. Just just note that. Okay, would we like to vote on this language for the storyboard? Or does anybody have anything else before we do that? Hi. Let's vote on it. Do we have a motion to approve the language with the edits we've made here tonight? Mike, would it help you if I went ahead and actually accepted the edits before we? Uh, it's up to you if you want to accept them or I can go through afterwards and accept them. I usually take, before I send it off to SE group, I usually go through and accept them. Okay, I'll leave it to you to do that because there might be some comments and things that you left. I don't want to accidentally um, mess things up for you. So if everyone's okay, uh, we'll just we'll just vote without cleaning it up. Um, so can we have a motion to uh, approve the community services chapter storyboard with the edits made at this meeting? I'll make a motion to approve the <laughs> community services chapter, including the edits that have been made at this meeting. Well done. I'll second. Okay, so we have a motion from Maria and a second from Ariane. Any discussion before we vote? Okay, those in favor of the motion say aye. 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 Any opposed? Aye. Any opposed? Uh, any abstain? Okay. So that's a one, two, three, four, five, zero, zero to approve the storyboard. Um, mission accomplished. I'm sure something came up with Aaron. It's it's cool. Uh, and the last thing we can do is consider the minutes before we adjourn. So if everyone will take a minute, uh, no pun intended, looking at the minutes and 
we can approve those. Sometimes Tammy mixes in some humor, if you look at the last line. Sometimes I think my little stupid jokes I make are for her benefits. And she has to <laughs> We have a motion to approve, or does anybody notice anything that be correct? I move to approve the minutes of January eighth. Thank you. Do we have a second? I'll second. Okay. So motion from Ariane and second from Maria. Uh, any discussion or any last second thing to point out? Okay. Those in favor of the motion, say aye. 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 Any opposed? Okay. Minutes approved, five zero zero, and uh, we can adjourn. Does anybody have anything else to note or any comments before we adjourn? By the time we see this, I want to say happy Black History Month. Happy Black History Month. Anything else? Okay. Um, can we get a motion to adjourn? Yes. Motion from Carlton. Do we have, does Carlton have a second? Aye, second. Second from Gabe. Okay. Those in favor of adjourning, say aye. Aye. Okay. See you all in a couple of weeks.